I'm going out to a call right now. The lady said something fell off of her door. We've been there before. Uh, I think one of the videos even has this job on it, but she said something's going on and uh, we are going out there now and I'll be back on as soon as we get there. How you doing? Good. I'm back. <laughs> so you, the keypad doesn't work? This, this wall pad isn't working at all. This is working. Really? Here. Well, I don't want to oh, use this if, if I don't have to. Let me hit, let me see I, that. I know. Doesn't sound connected. Yeah. Uh, you tried to use this? Yeah, I used it. Why would you, why did you need to use it? Why didn't you use it? Because your... it wouldn't open. Hmm. And I had to manually. No, no, it, it's on manual now, but, but the. Uh... Yeah, but you'll see the thing is dangling. The, the yeah, washer, I don't need the, yeah. Washer fell out. You see? Oh, yeah. See what's wrong? Where does she put that? Oh, my Jordan. Yeah, that fell out on its own? Oh, here. We found this on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this might, this is for the arm, like for these bolts. I don't think it's for that. That yeah. normally takes a pin. Let me see if I have something better than that. Yeah. Anyway, it worked fine the day before. It just yeah. wouldn't open. No, it always works fine the second before it doesn't work. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. In everything. Right. everything. Your water heater worked fine everything right before it went out. <laughs> no, it no, I know. Indicate that there was anything it would be yeah. weaker. Well, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably add another piece of angle iron. I didn't hear the thing drop or anything. I'm gonna probably change this out. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm going to put two so that the pin goes through two. Yeah. Uh, and I appreciate what you did last time. It's really quiet. Yeah, still? Because you know there's an apartment down below. Oh, really? Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to take care of this. I'm okay. going to I'm going to put two and I'm going to put a pin. Okay. I'll carry on what I'm doing. Okay. Make sure I got angle iron. So this is what I'm doing here. I'm going to take this off because they have a pin going through and I guess it wore that hole a little bit too big. If we can see the hole up there, it looks bigger than the other ones. So, but we're gonna reinforce this and what I'll do is I'll just turn this back on as soon as we're done reinforcing it. Anyway, I've been here about 15 or 20 minutes. Do a couple of things, make it run a little smoother, although it runs really smooth now. We could uh, make it always run a little smoother. So I'm um, just gonna give it a coat of this. Cause she was so happy last time we did it. Look how quiet that sounds. I don't wanna hear all you door guys telling me I'm using WD-40. I already know it's a penetrant, it's not a lubricant. Yeah, you can buy a better lubricant, but guess what? Those lubricants don't get inside these little cracks. They just sit on top of it. And the noise, in fact, gets louder. I used that other stuff before. I couldn't charge a guy because it made the door louder for some reason. I don't know what the hell it did. It made a loud noise after I sprayed that other crap on it. But I went back to WD-40. Gets away all that noise. Now let's, let's hear the, let that thing soak in a minute. Look at that thing. Trying to make one squeak. Look at that. See, it can't open anymore because it's beamed in the way. I made the arm as short as I can make it so that uh, it would go up another inch or two. Because the bottom panel there is sticking down a little. But that should be good. Okay, the rest is writing the receipt. You can see I didn't work very hard here. Easy money. Easy, easy money. You guys could go on and do another trade if you want, but I don't think you're going to get one this good. So, it's up to you. You want to see what I did? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what I did is I 
I put a different bracket. I took all that off. Okay. And I put a, they didn't have the brackets at the time. Okay. So I, I mounted this bracket oh, to it. Oh, that's good. Bolted it. So, yeah, and I put a pin in it. See, this is a Carter pin. Yeah. It goes through two of them. And then over here, or you could do it inside, actually. And I serviced it again. Yeah. I, I lubed everything again. Tightened some things up. Good. And I had to reset the travel limit on it. Quiet. You like that? It's really, yeah. <laughs> Is and it more just, quiet? Because I lubed it again. When we were fixing the, the house, you yeah. know, and oh, you, you could hear this thing every time anyone... But now, what, the, now you, what is it? You can't it? hear it. For, if you were grading it and you were a school teacher, what would you give it? I would give it an A, maybe an A+. plus. Okay, yeah. what was your old one? Oh, it was a C. See? It was noisy. Barely, barely passing. And I think, oh, that's so and so coming home, you know. But but now now that now, now it sounds like a Porsche yeah. or something <laughs> something good, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and then also, I put these ties on it. I cut them off, but these ties to hold the cable, okay. so that it won't hang okay. there. Okay. You can go in, take in the view. I just go in and walk around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't care. Get the view. Look at this view. view. Unbelievable. I know. That's why people, they see it, they go, this is heaven. I've reached heaven. See that? Right here? Spiral stairs, staircase. Oh, I like this better. Yeah. You got that little pool here. All the noise you have. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. Do you ever come out here and go, why me? Oh, all the time. Oh. It keeps me safe. This, you know. Anyway, this is what I got for the check. $488. The lady's a nice lady. I just talked there for probably more time than it took to fix it. If you want to learn a trade, learn the garage door trade, and you could do repairs all day long. An average call is at least $500 a call and it could go as high as 1500 if doors are off track and all that and it's simple it's simple once you learn how to do it you could do eight to ten calls every single day and if you want to get bigger you just have to advertise in different areas and you can hire people to do it as well you could train them how to do it but that's if you want to go bigger or if you want to do it yourself you could just stay in one area and make great money if you want to learn the trade you sign up at www.garagedoortrainingschool Dot com and we'll teach you how to do this trade to where you're you'll know enough to go out and start repairing garage doors you also get a certification at the end with your name on it so if you need it for a job you need it for any type of proof that you have experience we give you that at the end you print it right out this is an online course you can do it at your own pace it's a video course you can do it from your house you don't have to do it all in one sitting you can continue later if you fail the test at the end you can retake the test and also you, you get a lifetime membership to the course we give you price sheet so when you go out to jobs it's a recommended price sheet we help you buy parts we help you with that as well if you need it we teach you basically the language of garage doors you're gonna know how to identify things and work with the springs and the cables and everything else I'm telling you this is a great business it's year-round you never get slow in this business like I said, before, told people before, I know people making over $40,000 a day. So if, if you're looking to do garage doors or garage door repairs, anything with garage doors, go to www.garagedoortrainingschool.com and sign up because you won't regret it. Once you start tasting the money and people start calling you to fix their door, you're gonna even get relatives once they know you do this. Or, or friends or the people are gonna find out you do this, they're gonna be calling you off the hook. If, if you advertise on your truck or your van, when you're doing the job, people are gonna wave you down on the street. They're gonna approach you. If you're eating a sandwich in a delicatessen, they're gonna look for you or they're gonna wait till you come to your car. They're gonna take pictures of your car with the phone number on it. They're, they're gonna track you down once you start advertising. You're not gonna be able to get away from people that want you to fix their garage doors. So. It's a great business, I'm telling you, and probably eight out of 10 people, you tell them 
you, you do garage doors are going to tell you they their door won't open or they've had problems with it or they just had it repaired or they're going to need something their garage door remote control doesn't work or the door sometimes doesn't work and and then all you got to do is say you can come out and take a look at it and you got a job and then you can charge them whatever you want so we give you price sheets though so you don't have to make up prices we give you the, all that as part of the course so we give you all the tool lists we even have we're putting together now a practice like an assembly thing we put together with the spring and the cables all that so you could actually practice winding the springs at your house or you could practice uh, resetting the cables doing all that and that way when you go out to the job you, you just do it on their their door when it's when it's broke so anyway remember garage door training school is the best way to learn how to do this no company is going to train you because they know for a fact that people once they train them after two three months they they see how much money there is how much money this guy's making they end up quitting and doing it themselves and uh, that person becomes their competitor so most companies will only train their relatives and friends or their family members or whatever and then everybody else is basically you know they're very skeptical who they train so you don't have to worry about that and they make you feel uncomfortable when you're working with them a lot of companies will make you sign a non-compete clause that means that you, you can only work for them and if you do they can sue you and you're going to owe them a bunch of money so it's like a 10-year clause that you can't get in this business whatsoever you can't be in the garage door business so and if they find out you do you are all they get to do is take pictures of you or do whatever they'll even set you up to where uh, they can sue you and, and win in court and you're going to owe them a bunch of money so don't even go that route of, of uh, trying to get a job with them without any training you need to be trained in this business. If you're trained, however, they'll hire you as a peace worker or to work for them because they already know you know how to do the do the work. And most people that learn this, they want to do it themselves and make all the money. So anyway, go to www.garagedoortrainingschool.com. It's a great trade. Back right up to the door, fix the door, drive away with a check. Don't go up any stairs, don't do all that. All those other trades are hard, labor-intensive work when garage door sounds like it is, but it really is very easy to repair doors. So you just have to know what you're doing. You have to know sizes and dimensions, how to wind, how many turns to put on springs, all that stuff. We teach you all that. It's, it's really the best trade to be in. Nobody tells you it because they don't want you getting the job, so they, they keep their mouth shut. But I'm letting you guys know that this is a great business and I'm ready to retire. So, uh, you know, and everybody in this business has always been secretive on who they hire and all that. But I'm, I'm, letting, the, I'm letting the cat out of the bag and letting you guys know that the garage door world is, there. everybody in this business that's doing it is making a lot of money. So if you want to get in this business, the real way to learn and the only way to learn is to go to garagedoortrainingschool.com. That's at www.garagedoortrainingschool.com. Check them out, sign up, and it's very reasonable priced. I mean, don't even think about the price because you make it back in one day once you start doing repairs. All right, over and out.